each of the last two games? Is there anything you've figured out from that? Anything that you need to change because of that? Um, I don't know. The one was in fast break when on Courtney Lee. The second was offensive foul on the screen. And, uh, you know, just to be smarter. Uh, it's, it's tough to stay in front of Kemba, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So. Last game, it was, like you guys said, a lot of open shots that didn't go in. But now, two games like this, how do you explain what happened to you guys up here in Charlotte? Um, I mean, I, I think so that you know, we, we shot 40% from the field, but, um, you know, we missed a lot of open shots. Um, you know, try to get back to the group, um, you know, take care of business at home, but, um, you know, it's, uh, we're getting good, good looks, so, you know, that's, we still continue, we need to continue to play like that and, um, you know, take those shots with confidence. Gord, is there a way to explain why these runs seem to come, the negative runs against you seem to come on the road? Is, is it just the home road issue as far as when you have these troubles? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 I think so. The problem is we get too many of those dark minutes, you know, so let's say, especially the second quarter. They outscored us 26 to 13, and uh, even the third quarter, um, they, they went on the run, but we came back. Uh, you know, we, I mean, we won three quarters, but that second one was uh, too much. Going up there. You, you and Dwayne combined to have nine fouls and nine turnovers <coughs> at the guard position. What are they doing to make things difficult on you all? And how tough is it to, to guard them when they can get into the lane like that? Uh, you know, they they defend well. I mean, they defend the the, the paint. And, uh, you know, it's no nowhere to go. Um, like I said, we, we had open shots. We just could have made those. But, um, um, you know, they committed. They, you know, every time we, you play pick and roll, their big guys are really up. And um, you, you cannot do nothing. Um, you need to pass the ball. But, um, you know, then the, on the other side, I think so we be given too much space in pick and roll. But if, if you don't give the space and you're up into them, you guys have been so much of a team defense team. Is there something they're doing that is sort of taking away the team concept, next man over, next man up kind of thing? It seems like when they're breaking the initial penetration, more so getting to the rim than we've seen sometimes this year. Is that a breakdown of the team defense? Uh, you know, when you defend pick and roll, our main goal is you know, to try to figure out with, between one and five. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, when... When they hit you on that screen, um, you you always you know in the in the bad position because mm -hmm. you're trailing. Right. So you know, and, then the the second line of defense is the big guy, and um, you know we need to do a better job um, communicating that and try to try to close those gaps so they don't see those you know those open elbows so they can. Is there any thought?